Hi, in this video I'd like to demonstrate a concept. While it will be important for you to understand spectrophotometry and how it can be used to measure how much of a particular molecule is in a solution. Essentially, we're going to be using light to measure how much stuff there is in a test tube. Now there are two parts to this video. In the first part, I'll show you how different colors of light are affected by the color of the solution that they pass through. In the second part, I'll show you how the concentration of a colored solution affects how much light passes through it. Let's start with these test tubes. Here I have some water, some red food dye, some blue food dye, some chlorophyll, some yellow food dye. It's fairly concentrated, so it's giving more of an orange color. Now I used chlorophyll because green food dye is a mixture of blue and yellow, so it wouldn't have worked well for this video. I also have three laser pointers with three different light colors. So you can see here that we have three colored dots, and I will be using these to demonstrate these concepts. Let's start with the red pointer. I will place this in the tube with just water, and you can clearly see here the red dot under the tube. So we can say that this light passes through the sample fairly easily. Let's now transfer this over to the tube containing the red dye. And here again, we have no problems having the light pass right through the sample. We could say that it is transmitted by the sample. Let's try now with the blue dye, and you can see that the red spot is smaller, but it's still there. Some of the light is being transmitted by the sample, but some of it is being blocked. Now let's try this with the chlorophyll tube. Hmm, nothing passes through. Again, just to confirm, the light is on, but it is being blocked by the sample. We call this absorbance. Let's continue on to the yellow-orange tube, and here again the light passes through. Now let's try the same thing with the green light. First, the water. The light passes through without any problems. Now, the red pigment. Hmm, no transmittance here. It passes through the blue solution. And the green. Now, it's a bit more hazy here because the solvent is not just pure water, so it's scattering the light a little bit. And the orange solution. Some light is allowed to pass through, but it does absorb some as well. Now this, let's try this with the blue light. It passes through the water just fine. It is being absorbed completely by the red solution. It's being transmitted by the blue solution. And is blocked again, or absorbed, by the green pigment and also by the orange solution as well. So, as you can see, whether a colored light passes through a solution really depends on the color of the molecules in that solution. Some molecules absorb some light colors or wavelengths, and other molecules absorb different light colors or wavelengths. So for example, when I put the green light into the red solution, all the green light is being absorbed by the sample. I do the same thing with the red light into the green solution. Once again, all of the light is being absorbed by the sample. And lastly, the blue light into the orange solution, and once again, it is completely blocked. It just seems a lot like the pattern is related to the location of the color on the color wheel. The colors that are on the opposite sides of the color wheel seem to absorb each other. In fact, many molecules are able to absorb specific wavelengths of light. And this is why we're able to use these wavelengths of light to try to detect and measure their concentration. Now, let's see how that works. Now that you've seen how light of a particular color or wavelength can be blocked by a particularly colored molecule, let's see how the concentration of a colored molecule affects the passage of light. Now, here we have a red solution. Let me prepare a few different dilutions to produce a range of concentrations of this color.
just going to equalize the volumes. Get rid of the waste tube. Okay, and so now what you can see is that we have a range of colors based on the original red color. So, we're going to use the green laser. At first, it was being blocked by the sample, so here is our original. And again, the green light is not passing through this original sample. Let's try it in the lower concentration. Oh, we got some passing through. We have even more. And even more. Okay. So the less of the color there is, the fewer of the red molecules there are in solution, the more of the red light is able to pass through the actual sample. And so this is how we can actually measure how concentrated a sample is. If we have no light passing through, it's very concentrated. If we have some light passing through, then it's somewhat concentrated. And again, the more light passes through, the less concentrated the sample is. And so based on the amount of light that passes through, or transmitted light, we can make some conclusions about how much material there is in a solution, or how much of a particular molecule there is in a solution. I hope this has been helpful. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.